this good. So we have this thing to get us farther up, but this should now be a poodle. Because as you can see, we are way, way into atmosphere in these things. This is massively over-engineered right now. But that's all right. We'll, we'll just use what we have. Let's um, wait a little bit f more. The sound will be fun. It's not one of those... Uh, 0451 games, likes of Deus Ex, Bioshock, it's all about a varied approach to level design with heavy emphasis on stealth. Yeah, what's been, what's been keeping me hesitant about it is that it is, of course, one of those first-person shooter type of games, I guess, from what I've been seeing. They're not my main interest. But, you know, I'm always willing to give it a try, see what it's like. Let's adjust this baby. This thing, yeah, these four engines are enough to get us into space by themselves. So this is, this is way, way too much right now. I could probably have actually and that might be the next uh, one we try, is replace the entire orange tank with just one of these. I was not expecting these to be this efficient. To, to be that good. Wait, what? Uh, how on earth did these things use this fuel? Well, okay, we are back to being in uh, the right level efficiency. That is just fine by me. Bit of a problem. I was not expecting this. But that's all right. We are back to normal efficiency. That's why they burn so long. Because they were using the fuel of the central tank. That is absolutely fine, though. So, Vajex is just on his grave because of the world, and Blades in Dark is partly based on it. Nice. Hey, Venom. Um, have a good evening. Thank you for joining in. Glad you could be here. Um, not quite sure why I had that. that I should have done that later. Let's hope this is still doing fine. Uh, Minimus set as target. We're going to need to make sure we match the inclination of Minimus. At that maneuver. And we need to be burning... Uh, what? anti -nerny? Um Also, that is not going to be doing us much good. Have fun, everything. Everything. There we go. That will be good enough as far as I'm concerned. So that makes me want to reinstall Dead Space and play it. Oh, Dead Space is so good. Two and three already installed. Looking forward to playing those. Nice. Yeah, Dead Space, Dead Space 1 was a lot of fun. I, I think I've played through 2. I haven't played through uh, 3 yet. But yeah, that, that seems uh, like a lot of fun. Particularly the, the co-op missions. Maffy, the current mission, um, since I haven't been streaming since the last time we went to Minmus, this is a manned Minmus landing, now with more, uh, as you can see there and there by the outline, where was it just now, more RCS, so hopefully we should be able to actually do a decent enough landing this time. Okay, let's get a quick blast in. Because uh, if you remember from last time, uh, we have RCS, mandatory RCS installed. 
which means that, uh, well, basically, reaction wheels are very, very weak now, and you need RCS to do anything in space. There's no more free movement. Um, and even when you warp, rotation is kept constant, so you can no longer aim at something and then warp to stop all your rotation. Control wheels have some function, like if you um, use the SAS and you target something, and you fast forward, the rotation, the, the wheel can sort of keep you on um, axis. The suggestion is, of course, that your pilot, you know, is the one who is constantly making the mini adjustments while you are flying. So uh, right now I'm just being overly, overly cautious with my RCS. We could do more, we could be quicker, but uh, this is fun. But yeah, the goal right now is to um, to just do a manned minimus landing to prove that we can install some of the uh, surface experiments, get a little bit more uh, science. I'd like to use that science to get the rapier engines to allow us to do to make a space shuttle. That's something I've never been able to do before, or just I've I've never really done it, never really tried it. That's something that I'd really like to, to try. And ideally, if we get a nuclear engine, we can start doing some interplanetary stuff. Get some probes ready. Because we only have 107 days before our window to Duna. But yeah, uh, a Minimus mission, landed min Minimus mission, is also just the next step. Um, I think up after should be building an orbital station, trying to get a small research post on the Mun or Minmus, one of those. Let's, uh, hi kitty. Is this right? Yeah. No, it is not right. That's right. Normal. Hi kitty. Aw, oh, kitty needs some food and has food, has had food for an hour and a half but doesn't remember. Okay. Let's fast forward a little bit. So, we've seen this before, so I'm not going to spend too much time explaining what we're doing, talking about it. We're just matching inclination with Minmus. It's not that difficult. Checking our Minimus B. Um, all our life support is good. We are fine with this baby. Just wait for the countdown for our 17 second burn. Get ready. Three, two, one, burn. Three, two, one. Slow that burn. Where is... Ah, oh, darn it. I should have gotten the rendezvous on there. I'm going to adjust this relative inclination. Get the RCS on this. Yeah, we've maxed out. Okay. That is good for our inclination. Is it possible to make orbital shipyards? Huthor asks. Um, I don't think you can normally make uh, produce ships outside of Kerbin. Uh, the mod I have, the MKS, the, the colonization mod, does allow you to make things on site. I ha I don't know exactly how that works yet. That is pretty much new to me. Something we may um, end up exploring later. And by later I mean like streams, many streams from now. When you're lying in your beds, many streams from now. 
There we go. That seems good as a maneuver for an Minmus encounter. There we go. I guess that's just not effective. Um, what isn't, Maffy? You should take same mass to orbit? What do you mean? But yeah, Huthor, what you can do is, with the colonization, is um, have mining on different planets and... Um, from what I understand, you can make, you can put a design in a box, and then you have to take that box and drop it there. So you'd have to launch a small box, a blueprint to that site, and then using the resources on location, you can build something there. But you can't make, you know, an orbital shipyard station in the sense that, you know, Star Trek does it. Okay, let's turn the RCS off. Fast forward this baby. As you can see, I'm fast forwarding and rotating. That is... That is the... There we go. That is the mod. And as you can see, I can click prograde and there will be very slight rotation and turning. That is the idea of your reaction wheels are just not that effective anymore at all. So, practically speaking, what this mod does is stop you from relying on reaction wheels for quick, important changes. But you can use it, you know, just to, to adjust an orbital station, or in this case, to, you know, take a long time to slowly prepare for a maneuver, that kind of thing. Using parts. Constructor chip should weigh the same as its parts, so you spend the same fuel. Yeah, I know that that's yeah. The um I think the idea behind it in uh the mod isn't that you actually take all the parts, but that you take the blueprints and some like high tech things and then you manufacture most of the parts on site and that I think is their explanation for oh yeah, this is why it weighs less to to actually produce something on site. But yeah, I mean, it's not meant to simulate life. It's more meant to challenge you. Three, two, one, burn. Oh god, oh god, oh, okay, okay. Um, this thing is a little bit unbalanced. Forgot about that for a second. We are okay though. Now again, like the last time we tried this, because the last time was such a disaster, I'm thinking I'm gonna focus on this mission rather than do multiple missions at the same time as we have been doing in the past. Yeah, so people have been uh, interested and excited in uh, Dishonored. I'm thinking, though, The Longest Journey seems like something I want to at least try and figure out if it's my kind of game. Wait, what? Why on earth? Why on earth? Or Kerbal, I guess. Does our transfer... Oh, because we needed to use this to get into orbit. Yeah. Well, that's... That might be a problem. Although it's only 20 meters per second. It's 
actually no this is this was meant to be purely a lander could somebody help me out and figure out the delta v uh here because we now have a thousand delta v is that going to be enough for a minimus just we are from intercept we need to go to a low minimus orbit and a land and a return do we have enough do we have enough that's going to be a bit of a question He's playing with space fuel stations. Yeah, I was thinking about it. something like that. That'd be nice. Okay, um, give me a second while I look up the Delta V's for this. Delta V tree and the planner. Um, going from Minmus Intercept... To surface takes 370, and then going from surface to minimum surface curvature takes 370, and 600 740. So we should be okay with a thousand. Two hundred delta V to circularize, 300 to descend, 200 to ascend. That's 400 to 700. Yep. So we should be okay. Okay, let's let's see. Circularize that baby. Indeed, takes about 200. 15, 12, sure. That's, yeah, just fine. Let's add that as an alarm. Check whether we are okay with everything. We have our resources. We have our solar panels out. One thing I want to do is just get people out on... Get people out on a little bit of a spacewalk, just to, to milk some XP for them. Or at least the pilot, you know? Don't think he's been on that many spacewalks. We're gonna get that once, uh, once we design a space shuttle, though. Okay, radiation belt. We're just gonna fast forward till we get to Minmus. But yeah, Huthor, the uh, great story, nothing uh, decent story, um, nothing groundbreaking, but the world and lore is great, so reading a bunch of the books is fun. See, that's what... Uh oh Oh, a rover light malfunction, okay. That's actually, Huthor, for me, something that makes me not want to play it on stream, because there's the... there's the... Um, the trick in that... I don't like reading things on stream like that because it's, I don't know, reading a story like that isn't the type of thing that I think is, is I can do convincingly, entertainingly, interestingly, and it's also something else from processing the story for myself. So I can either read it and really process it or read it aloud for people, perform it for people, but not really process it at the same time. So that's why that that kind of thing um, holds me back. Because that's what I noticed, for instance, in The Witcher 2 and uh, Witcher 3, with all the good information sheets that they have. I didn't get that much from those things. There we go. Because that's, again, the difference between playing it, you know, experiencing that... And streaming it. Whoa. Oh, we had a little bit of spin left, apparently. When you when you just play it, that kind of stuff is great. There we go. Okay, just that little bit of time left. So, let's... Let's start stabilizing ourselves towards... Our goal. How much we have plenty of monopropellant this time compared to what we had before. Weak engine could be a problem, it's less effective when you make long thrusts. Yeah, this um the extra weight. Oh god. 
We can't land. That's the thing I forgot to adjust. We had this tiny thing which already had trouble before. Lifting off. This is going to be a problem. It's going to be a three minute burn. Oi, 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 oi. Do we even have the delta V, the, the thrust to weight? No, see, we're not going to have the thrust to weight with this thing. It's going to be so darn low. The closer we get to the um, gravity, the harder it's going to be to lift off. Is there a way for me to see the gravity on the surface, the, the thrust to weight on the surface? Would that even be possible? Surface readout. I don't know, Matthew, what do you think? Is Would we have the thrust needed to actually lift off? Let's see. Oh, of course, this is the current thrust. See, the thrust weight is dropping precipitously. But of course, 10 is ridiculous. You have enough thrust weight to lift off? You sure? Because we have a smaller version of the Terrier liquid fuel. Okay, let's fast forward. But no, it's risky. You can just run out of fuel. Yeah, that is that is going to be it, isn't it? Because it would be a long thrust. Very concerned about as well. We can at least try and circularize. Because that's still something we can escape from safely. Thank you. Oh, crap. Completely... Uh... Okay, that was weird. Yeah, see, we don't have the power to affect this. This is just circularizing. No, we're gonna have to, um... This is not gonna be it. We're gonna have to just return and change this around. Darn it, I thought I had it solved. We're gonna add this maneuver, uh, a simple return. And we need to adjust this. We need to adjust more of this rocket. Twenty is a little bit too steep, but forty. Ah, we're gonna we're gonna eyeball it anyway. Um, a thing we can do though is check what signs we still need to do we i think we did all the signs last time we flew around but at the very least we can get some of these people to eva and this way he's done eva in orbit of minimus so that's a little bit of xp for that guy for lem dread Rab, thank you. Let's board that baby. And we also brought two pilots, so that was an issue as well. I thought we we didn't even bring our scientist. Imagine how annoying it would have been had we actually gone through with the landing and discovered that we didn't bring the scientist. 
we could have installed all those lovely surface experiments and not be able to use them. Okay, let's add something uh, for our next sphere of influence change. We can just do that on the actual change and warp to that baby. There we go. Who could have thought that the the changes in mods that we have right now could have affected it so massively. Normally, going to Minmus is one of the easiest things to do. Right now, though, whew, struggling, struggling landing something on Minmus. So let's close this. I am now in orbit of Kerbin. So we can just... Start deorbiting. As before, we're just going to do a direct descent, arrow breaking, and uh, drawing the fruits of our labor with that one. Yeah, you can see how long this thrust lasts. I mean, we still have the fuel that we need, but it would mean, of course, that the suicide burn would be much longer because it's so much weaker. Well, lessons learned, though. Lessons learned. Kerbin has a Nye Island, Bill Nye. You know, I'm not quite sure why I have retractables on this. It's not as though this is a lander vehicle. This is the only thing that's going to survive. That's all right, though. Yeah, these these burns are quite ridiculous. I'm wondering is it possible to add a tab? No, you can just edit specific tabs. I was hoping that maybe we could make a, a lander uh, or descent tab. Just so we can get things like um, the biome you're landing in, your suicide burn, you know, that, that kind of thing, in all in one little floating, um, floating window. Slow down this baby a little bit more. I'm gonna be going to a little under 30k. A little bit more. There we go. That will get us safely back. Now you can see now we're turning with the actual um, actual target because we have the SAS on on retrograde, and that's something that the um, that the reaction wheel can handle very slow, very long terms, and it's assumed that the pilots do this. Uh, yes, get that good. Thank you. Record that data. <laughs> 